Hello and welcome to meditation takeaway number two. My name is Jax May from Formentera Yoga and this one is forwarding on from meditation number one. There's nothing wrong with you. And this one, meditation number two, is those that blame you are not happy. We got some jazz sounds today, so get ready for the journey. Unfasten that seatbelt, it's going to be a smooth ride. And the only baggage you need is yourself. So wherever you are, sitting comfortably, ensuring there's no tension in your back, either cross-legged or with your legs in a straddle position. Or laying down on your floor or on the bed or even better, listening to this meditation with some headphones on, go outside, sit on your favorite chair in your garden and put your bare feet in the earth. And just taking a deep breath in from the sacrum to the base of your skull. And as you exhale, just allow that exhalation to be nothing but a passive release of air. And this is a series of 12 meditations. This is number two out of 12. And you'll be able to find all the meditations on this SoundCloud channel. And we thank you for joining us today. meditation one we spoke of self-compassion and forgiveness there's nothing wrong with you and we start by forgiving ourselves this is not a way to justify cruel behavior this meditation too those that blame are not happy is a practice or a toolbox or a way of refusing to store someone else's unhappiness in your cellular body as memories of mistreatment or suffering. And each time we forgive the imprint of someone else's unaware actions on us, your body is clearing out these memories in your energetic field. So let's activate that anyone that blames you isn't happy. And we're going to start with the gamma breath that we practice in meditation number one. And this gamma DMT penile breath work activation opens your heart And the benefits of practicing gamma breathing are easily used anywhere at any time. It helps you to switch into your real-time processing of any charges, behaviors, triggers, or patterns. So this means you can free up energy flow and vibrance, wholeness, So just before we begin the breathing technique, I'd like to allow your tongue to rest in your mouth wherever it's comfortable. Allow your eyes to sink back into your eye sockets. And whether you're waking up for the day, doing a tea time afternoon meditation, or going to sleep, take a deep breath in of love. And exhale, love. And sending love to all of your internal organs, thanking them for doing their job. And allow your muscles to rest deeply over the hardness of your bones. 
and allow the whole of your body to sink down into your foundation. So, getting ready for Gamma Breath. Remember as in Meditation 1, I'll give you invitations. There are three second breaths, which are known as medium breaths in the Gamma Breathing. And I'll say in mouth, out mouth, or in nose, out nose. And you just follow my invitations. So getting ready, breathing in mouth, out mouth. In mouth, out nose. In nose, out nose. And in nose, out mouth. In mouth, out mouth. In mouth, out nose. In nose, out nose. And in nose, out mouth. And the last and final round, in mouth, out mouth. In mouth, out nose. In nose, out nose. And in nose, out mouth. And finish one final in mouth, out mouth. And relax and breathe into integration. Perhaps feeling some changing sensations in your brain. Entering into these high frequency healing gamma brain waves. And before we enter into deeper meditation, with those that blame you and not happy. I have a little story to tell you. So most of you know I moved from London and I set up a yoga school in Formentera. And after initially moving to Spain, I flew back to London to visit friends and family quite frequently. I didn't have to make many arrangements to see those I remembered. Most meetings were met with a sense of joy a magic, magical nostalgia. It was like watching a reunion episode of my life before moving to Spain and seeing what happened to those treasured characters I had come to know. And visiting the same places whilst watching familiar faces pop up in my reality. Seeing the friends I had known for so many years had grown up to become newer versions of themselves. I had clearly moved away to plunge myself deep into new powdery white beaches of Formentera in my spiritual work. And it seemed easier to do this on the white sandy empty beaches of Formentera than in London. Then one day, I bumped into an old different type of friend, one whom didn't know I'd be in town. And he felt left out for not knowing of my arrival ahead of time. He greeted me with eyes of betrayal whilst attempting to mask it in a passive-aggressive manner. I'm sure you've all experienced this at some point in your life. And do you know what he said to me? He said, Jax, you've put on some weight. And I responded, yes, I have, I replied in a peaceful and comfortable manner. But by pointing out my physical appearance, he seemed to lessen the blow of his own self-imposed rejection. 
So knowing I couldn't be the extent of his own self-rejection, I asked how he was doing. With vague answers of, I'm trying to sort things out and I'm in transition, I knew he was struggling to find his place in the world. So with self-compassion, I said to him, I understand how you feel. I found my purpose setting up a yoga school in Formentera, moved there to pursue it without distraction. I'm sure the same inspiration will come to you, I replied. His eyes welled up with an equal measure of the inspiration I had mentioned and the regret of life choices he was still sorting out. He then said to me, Jax, I've really missed you. And I smiled and said, it's really nice to be missed. And with a puzzled look on his face, he asked, so haven't you missed me? And I replied, I actually feel like I don't miss anything in my life anymore. I see people when I see them. And until that happens, I do what I'm called to do. And he asked, what's that like? And I replied, pure happiness. So our exchange got cut short by being interrupted by the phone ringing. And as I walked away, I was immensely grateful for the opportunity to confirm the importance of my life choices, challenged only by those still searching for the happiness that had found me. I walked away in peace. So the title of this meditation, Anyone That Blames You Isn't Happy. How many times in your life have you blamed yourself in a state of happiness? Probably never. And how many times have you blamed others happily? Probably never. It's impossible because those that blame are not happy. So as you sit or lay, allow all of your muscles to relax and allow those words to land within you. Feel the sensations rather than thinking and leave your mind alone. Just like in meditation one, if we leave the water in our swimming pool alone, it settles. Leave your mind alone and let it settle. And if you have to focus on anything, focus on your breath. So the title of this meditation, Those That Blame You Are Not Happy, is actually more a sense of awareness. It's not actually a judgment. To see someone who blames you or a moment when you blame another is because of one's relationship with happiness or unhappiness. The secret is to see through the eyes of forgiveness. Let go of the need to make anything happen so you're free to witness what is happening. And what is happening right now is your immune system is strengthening, your parasympathetic nervous system is nourishing all of your internal organs and you are deeply resting. How beautiful is that? Breathe in love. And breathe out, anchor down into more love. Notice any tension or gripping, which we spoke about in meditation one. There's nothing wrong with you. And notice it's the mind's attachment to control, making your body feel uncomfortable. Let it go. It's not important now. And rest in your heart. As one of my favorite meditation teachers, Berg, says, may all beings be happy. Let that land for a few moments. What a world that would be.
And as we spoke about self-compassion in meditation one, there's nothing wrong with you. And to forgive yourself for anything in your past you regret as you meditate that it all had to happen to evolve to the being you are today. So forgiveness is one of your highest attributes. It's pure compassion in action. Forgiveness is not just accepting an apology from someone that's done you wrong. It is the willingness to respond to hurt by saying, I'm sorry that your unhappiness has caused you to treat me this way. Feeling the sensations in your brain and body as we meditate on may all beings be happy. Breathe in love. And breathe out love. When someone is in their ego, they are not aware of their attitude and behaviors associated with their unhappiness, just like we are also. This is the insight people are unaware of when operating from a state of non-awareness. So let your mind soften. Let go of your own residual tension of any gripping feeling in your muscles. Simply allow these words to wash over you. There is nothing you need to do or analyze. Just be as relaxed as you can and your subconscious will be absorbing whatever it is, whatever needs to be healed. You are healing now. You are in deep rest now. There is nothing wrong with you and those that blame are not happy. in love and breathe out love invite yourself and start with yourself to be emotionally free from your own self blame quit it drop it let it go because when you're truly free from others, people's experiences, they don't tend to affect you anymore. The moment you blame, you've turned away from the vibrations of happiness. So here's an invitation. Meditation takeaway number two. What if you dared to not blame those who chose to blame you. Breathe in from the sacrum to the base of your skull and exhale and surrender and allow space for that to land in you. And this is how we assist the world in no longer requiring unnecessary violence or suffering on another to be aware of the pain that so many are in need of processing may all beings you meet today be happy may all beings around you be happy and may all beings be happy because those that are happy are the most willing to forgive And remember, as in meditation one, 
You're your best friend right now. You are your ally, not your enemy. You are the most supportive, loving and compassionate human being that you can think of right now. And breathing in forgiveness. And breathing out forgiveness. It's this cultivation of forgiveness that allows you to recognize, feel, and demonstrate the happiness that is always within you. It's not wrong of others to be unhappy. And it's not wrong in the eyes of the universe for others to remind you of their unhappiness. If it happens in your life, there are gifts and insights to be received for the evolution of both journeys. Those that are mean or are acting out to you are begging for a space to integrate the healing they most likely don't know that's underway. Here's a golden nugget. Both souls are playing out a scenario of expansion. And you know what this does? It blesses the forgiver and the one being forgiven with the gifts of greater alignment and expanded awareness. So the moment you blame, you've turned away from the vibrations of happiness. What a beautiful meditation this is. So any time that you're looking for validation from others around you to fit in or to be accepted and you're blamed for thinking, feeling or acting in a different way, just replay this meditation Please share it with your friends and your family. Please click if you like it. Thank you so much for being here in your life and in mine. Thank you for honouring this space here where we simply listen, feel and take a break from the world. And the happier we are, the more aligned we are with our journey. So listen to the music. Fall in love with yourself. In the meantime, I'm working on the content for the next exciting meditation takeaway. The secret to fast tracking worries. Sending you lots of love from me to you. Namaste. Namaste.